when we're talking about climate change, which Pakistan has been heavily in, 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 um, influenced, like, affected by, it's, you know, there's a lot of the things that we're developing for space could help with that in the future as well. We're developing MOXIE. So MOXIE is, a, is now on Mars, actually, that is using CO2 to create oxygen. So this is one step towards terraforming Mars. And I know it's not going to happen now. It's, we're still sent like a few hundred years away from completely terraforming Mars, so don't get too excited yet. But we have been able to successfully create oxygen on Mars. So that's a really like, important step to talk about because when we're talking about Earth and climate change, when we have a lot of carbon, we have a lot of CO2 that is trapped in Earth's atmosphere. And this trapping is actually what's, help, like, what's, going, what's keeping the heat in. So if you're able to remove the CO2 from the atmosphere, you're going to be able to reduce the effects of climate change as well and like, cool down on Earth a little bit more. And this is one example out of hundreds. You know? So there's so many things. Things, medications that have been developed for space, um, because when you go to space, your bones demineralize, which means they lose density. And every single person in this room is going to age hopefully. And as you age, you're going to go through something called osteoporosis. Osteoporosis means when you're not specifically, you are not have to go through that, but as you age, you lose bone density. And when you lose bone density, you know, you're easily, you can easily get injured. There's a lot of problems with it, of course. So when you go to space, that happens at a much rapid pace. So when you go to space and you spend some time there, you lose bone density because you how your cells react to this environment without, without perceived gravity is that it has no nothing is telling your bones to produce more bone cells because of the, of the lack of load so there's a lot of things that you do in space to help with that so like working out and stuff but also medication so pharmaceuticals in space that you to help astronauts in space you can use it on earth too same with you know your vestibular system which is like your inner ear system that is for, for that gives you like balance and um, just like for uh, motion uh, there's a lot of people that are facing a lot of problems with their vestibular system on earth so again the same medication that you can use in space you can use on earth too so 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 many of them these are just two examples out of dozens if not more